What's going on YouTube? Fighting Cowboy here. And as you can see, we have finally finished the game. Session end. And now we are going after the epilogue missions. Been meaning to get uh, more full sync walkthroughs up for you guys, but I just kept progressing further and further into the game. And you know, the deeper I got into it, the harder it was to pull myself away. And I mean, it's what time is it? Yeah, 3 a.m. Yeah, you can. That's what kind of happens with games like this. But we got to the end. We have finished the story. I'm not going to say anything about the ending. Don't want to spoil it in this video. But if you're interested, I will have the video of the the full cinematic ending up relatively soon. And in addition, the uh, final sequence you play. But in this sequence, we're going to be going through the epilogue missions that you get after beating the game. So the first one up. Let's see what's going on here. Evacuation day. And as it is the end of the game, decided I'm just going to start keeping cutscenes in because, you know, if you guys want to skip the cutscene, you can always scroll past it. So that's the British leaving. Oh, man. Oh. Wow. That could have been really bad. I thought it was just going to slaughter all of those people. And why is Connor still, like, bloody, man? It's supposed to be, like, six months later, and... Oh, well, you can see, apparently, the land of the free isn't all that free, considering this dude's got three black people that... I'm guessing he's going to sell them off as slaves, and he has them up on a post, so... Let's go find out what's going on over here. What do you think you're doing with these people? What's up? What are you doing here? What, what is this? Well. Oh, well. Run! I have freed you. You are no one's possessions. Apparently I wasn't supposed to kill that guy. Oh, let them start a riot. Mm. So, maybe we don't actually do anything in these epilogue missions more than just uh, running around and seeing how much uh, we really didn't make a difference so <coughs> anyway let's hop over to the frontier see what the mission is over there we saw a bunch of slaves on the first epilogue mission so I'm guessing the second one's gonna have something to do with Indians being forced to move or something just showing Connor how even at the end of everything everything is still shitty for him at least his people all that stuff now, where did here. Okay. Am I crazy or is is there just not a mission on top? Maybe I like maybe I'm on top. Ah, haha, that would be it. I am on top. Where's this guy going? If you're hungry, have extra. No, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was granted the land by Congress. What? Seen it happen more and more. Government says they don't take land that's already owned, but... Uh... <laughs> How could this have happened? We're on our own now. No more merry English parts and labor, which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy, not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say they're what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring them back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. To British. Thank you. Be safe. Huh. 
All right, well, I'm convinced now that the epilogue missions just show you how in the aftermath of everything, it's all still rather shitty. But let's go on to the third one. This is pretty exciting stuff, right, guys? I mean, tons of, of killing and awesome combos and everything you expect in an Assassin's Creed video. Just kidding. None of that. Apparently, it's Connor seeing that the Founding Fathers aren't as friendly as he thought they were going to be. Stealing land, keeping slaves. What is going on here? So I've planted two of our pivots. What Not the easy hell? To end, believe you me. But there they are. You can see those two activating a buried one. Kind of. If you drop the third one we have, the buried pivot's precise location should resolve. Then go gather the hex cipher, rinse, and repeat. If you get a chance, I'd love to see Franklin's glass harmonica in person. Just a side note. Have fun. Okay, I have no idea what just happened. Uh, okay, we gotta plant a pivot and find a pivot. What the hell? Okay, hang on. Animus sinking. Pivots. Pivots info. What? Pivot is planted in Boston. You can plant it elsewhere. Huh. There's time on pivot scans? What is going on? What is this pivot system? I have no idea what this is. One pivot to find, zero pivots to plant. Okay. So. What is being forced onto me right now? All right, we're up and running. This code is hacked while hell. Nicely hacked, but hacked. The worm found three pivots before failing, so we've got those. You need to locate the remaining pivots on your own from inside. The three we've got will triangulate the rest. It's a sweet bit of hacking on my part, if I dare say. Each pivot detects the others in proximity. There should be 12 total. Everyone you find is supposed to produce a hex cipher, and that's what we're after. Once you find them all, we'll sequence the code, package the data, and Bob's your uncle. Now, don't putz around too much in revolutionary America. I know it's tempting. Okay. Now, what's weird is that sounded like Desmond talking, but we're in the Animus as Desmond, so is he talking to us as the player or talking to himself? Because it didn't sound like Sean. Okay. So we got three pivots planted in Boston. Alright, and I have no idea. So do I just. What? Session changer hack unlocked thin. Alright, well, apparently that was each of the epilogue missions. So what the hell is this session changer do? How are we supposed to find pivots? Hmm. Trying to find it. Scan two minutes ago. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Well, anyway, guys. Uh, apparently that's it for the epilogue missions. So I'm going to mess around with this pivot stuff a little bit. See if I can't figure that out. And no worries. I will get those full sync videos up for you. Make sure to tune in. Like I said, we're going to be doing a whole slew of the full sync videos. And in addition to that, I'm going to have a video going over some of the coolest kills I've been able to pull off in the game and giving you an idea of how to achieve those same combo kills. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to click that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you with our next video.